So I'm going to make a stone version of it, which is probably most likely what you're going to make out of it. Uh, and this is everything you need right here. All right, we'll take all that. Uh, let's just set this up there. Uh, no particular order, just trying to fill it up. And All right, so first we're gonna do, we're gonna lower the foundation. Uh, let's put it right at the center of that. Put behind it, get rid of this. And we're gonna do this five times. So you need five pillars to make it. And then that right there's a fifth one. We're going to get rid of the sail, right? Now when we place our foundations, it's just inside of the raft. Yeah, I'll show you. You see how it just the raft is inside of the foundation now? Come to the back end, you don't see it, right? Place my raft so you can see. Yeah. See how it's inside now? So basically what we want to do is we want to encase the entire raft. And, oh, you know what? We don't even need this pillar anymore. Then we're going to take this. Um, actually, you know what? Let's move it away from the coast so we have some more space to work with. All right. I'm going to put a pillar right in the middle of this one. Batch. Silly. Two out. So it's just, you know, six. Uh, let's chop ourselves now. So what you want to do is you want to put a, a, a pillar in the center of each one of those thatched ceilings. Right. Just like that. And then with the foundation, it's very simple. Just look directly at the pillar right so you don't want to just aim it down you want to aim it right at the pillar boom that's how you extend it out and then you can just destroy this original one and it all goes away so that's that's our space that we're working with right now, just this little so that's not a you know it's a small raft uh, we got a lot of room right Build walls around. Obviously, I put the ramp there, so that's where we're going to put the door now. Right. So just take a look. So it's just three and three, right? Uh, now, not on this wall, but the next one over, I'm going to put one, two, so you can this side, one. So it looks like that. And then now we can put in these uh, 
ankle. Yeah. Put it inside. And then of course with that we're gonna put the sloped roof right on top of it. Bam. Just like so. Uh I'm gonna put a door here to access the back. Now look, as you can see this is kind of tricky. Kind of like very jittery. Um, What you want to do is, you just want to make sure that it's in the inside one. So there's two foundations, right? This is a split. So the, the wall can either go on that foundation over there, or this foundation over here. You want it on this foundation over here, so it can l link up to this wall. Uh, and then point it outwards like that. So they're connected, right? And then what I usually do is I put a wall there, and then I actually throw a window on this side. Oh wait, actually, I'm mistaken this one. The wall has to be right there. So just, you know, every time you put a, a structure down, just take a look at it, make sure it's connected right. Because if it's not connected right, there's gonna be a gap there, and it's, it just looks funny. So the, the, the purpose of this window is actually so you can look out of it and target whatever's in there, right? Uh, and then right on top, you just can put walls 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 uh, so because the doors are back to back this is the entrance and the entrance to the back uh, I usually choose this area to put my hatch frame uh, because I'm not gonna put nothing to obstruct the doorways right I'm gonna put all my structures on this side around here so because of that I want to make sure my bird can land this open area that I'm going to leave there. Uh, and I usually like to have it so my doors open uh, with the hinges on the side walls, right? And I'll, I'll show you what I mean by that. It's always tricky to get it, but there it goes. So what I mean by that is I like my doors to open uh, for some reason, if, for whatever reason, if I am in an emergency or whatever and I want to run my own dyno up here, I can just drop them in there. And, I mean, there's no exit, but, I mean, in an emergency situation, you're not thinking about that, right? You just want to run whatever dyno you got, get in there, close the door, and be safe, and escape. And then you worry about getting them out later. Uh, what? That's weird. Right. Yeah, and then uh, let's throw the. Uh, oh, it's right there actually. Let's throw the rooms in there. Now this is a little weird, right? It's just jittery regardless. So what I usually try to do is do my best to put it in a spot where it's not a gap. Right there. And as long as I don't see a gap, I'm fine with it. Uh, like I said, the gap is just ugly, and also, if for whatever reason somebody's climbing on top of your raft, they can kind of peek inside a little bit, and I'd just rather not give them that, right? Alright, so let's throw some doors in there, and then a window, and that's it. This is your living quarters, right? This is your base of operations. Now, you can literally only put the stuff you need for taming. A uh, preservation bin, a cooking pot, maybe a fire to cook some of that prime meat you get. Uh, that way when you trap a dino in here, you have everything available to you, right? I usually just throw the dino gates right there. One there. Put the door in, like so. And then... The reason why I put doorways here, uh, and windows are just less uh, resources to build in a wall, so that's the only reason why I put a window there. Uh, but the reason why is because if, if, if a dino is chasing me for whatever reason, and I'm coming in through either this way or from up there, and I'm running, up there, I, as soon as he falls in here, I can just run right out, and he won't be able to fit.
And then finally is the And that's pretty much it. That's the basics of it right there. Oh, wait a minute. That made a mistake. I've made a few mistakes. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Save that one. So bad enough to make another one. But yeah, that's the basics of it, right there. That's it, it's just a simple raft. You can use this to transport dinos. You can add ramps on uh, the doorways if you like. I normally don't, because uh, I don't really use this for transport. But uh, if you wanted to, you could add ramps to it. And then whenever you're transporting dinos, your own dinos, you can just walk them right in there, close it up, take the trip. Uh, let me just show you what it's like when driving it. There's no obstruction of your view. You can see pretty good, right? Now again, you know, this is not really for attack or anything. This is just for... Uh, just basically to capture dinos. Uh, but you could use it as a mobile base if you wanted to. Um, especially if when you first start, you're in, a, in an area that you don't feel safe. And you've built up enough to have the hatch frames. Um, and you just want to relocate your base and have this as a temporary base. Uh, that might be great. But if you really wanted to, you could use it to attack. As you see this one right here, this is just a prettier version of it. It's nothing. And then I got my turret on the side. So if I ran up on a base, I mean, if there's a base on the coast, you know, they're in trouble anyway. But, uh... So that's it. That's my uh, taming raft uh, with a with a lot of space. As you can saw, as you can see, what I had in there, there was a lot of space to put extra stuff. And uh, let me just show you a real quick clip of what it looks like in action.
yeah, guys, that's my taming raft. Um, hope you guys liked it. Uh, I'm going to be posting videos a little bit more often. I appreciate you guys' feedback. Uh, I just got into the ARC Mobile Partner Program, so I'm definitely going to be uh, posting videos on a more normal basis. Uh, I'm probably going to start a new server, start from scratch. Um, so, yeah, man, I'm super excited about the future. Uh, this game is great. Uh, so I'm just going to continue to keep playing and keep posting videos. Uh, if there's anything you guys want me to post a video about, just give me a comment down below. Uh, like, subscribe, all that jazz. And until next time, peace.